Hi, my name is Jenny Burney, and I'm the Executive Director of the Center for the Arts in Crested Butte. For the past 24 years, the Center has been providing artistic opportunities for our community. And truly, the Center was developed for one purpose, which was to bring this community together to enjoy a wide variety of experiences. When I look around the Center, I am so impressed with the fact that this building used to be an old county shop and now it's this wonderful, vital place where people come together to share a common experience, whether it's the performances that the center puts on in the winter season or people coming to our outdoor stage in the summer for Alpenglow, which has been going on for 19 years. Um, but really, even more importantly, is having a place where community providers and individuals can have events at the center. The Center for the Arts is truly a grassroots effort of this community. In 1985, a small group of people came together that were very passionate about the arts and saw the need for a performing arts center for our community. My name is Sandy Allen Leinsdorf and I was one of the original board members for the Center for the Arts Board that was created 24 years ago here in Crested Butte. After years and years of working hard to convert this building from an old county shop with an ugly pile of cinders outside, it's amazing to see this incredible community facility. When we finally got it built, Everyone was so excited that we could finally have our kids out here on stage, we could finally have larger plays, we could finally seat so many people. There's not a bad seat in the house here. It's, it's an excellent place to sit and hear and have the visual experience of the performing arts. Annually, the Center for the Arts presents over 30 productions. There are nationally touring artists that come here in our winter and our summer season, including dance, theater, big band, and contemporary music. In 2008, the center hosted about 92 performances total, and about 30 of those were center productions, and around 60 of those were rental performances. We also had about 83 rehearsals and 10 workshops, and 11 visual arts programs and gallery shows, with a total of attendance at the center around 21,000 people. Alpenglow is a, is a wonderful opportunity for our community to come together and enjoy a series of free summertime outdoor concerts ranging from bluegrass to salsa. The Center for the Arts is about connecting community members with artistic experiences. Several years ago, we formed a new relationship with the enrichment program at the community school. And as a result, between our two organizations, we are offering even greater opportunities for our children to become involved in the arts. Probably the best example is Alpenhong. Alpenhong is a concert pianist that comes to Crested Butte each year and spends a week here as a resident and um, offers programs to kids individually and for the entire school. So the relationship between the Center for the Arts and the school is a really positive one for me. Um, they're very much in, in touch with, you know, what I need, what we'd like to have. And I know Alpen's not the only thing, you know, they provided for us. But the fact that the center is welcoming the band into a performance that this professional musician is doing is a really cool opportunity. And the fact that, you know, the kids don't have to pay a dime for this experience is also amazing. Play with a professional musician on stage is just an amazing experience, especially for kids who grow up in sort of a remote area, removed from a lot of the things, cultural things that the city might offer. So we're really lucky to have the center to bring these amazing artists through town. Whether it's the Avalanche Center showing a movie or the School of Dance doing their annual productions at the center, the rental rates that we provide here opens the doors for many, many, many more performances. Uh, my name is Bobby Reinhardt and I'm the Executive Director of the Crested Butte School of Dance and the Dance Summer Workshop. We have been using the Center for the Arts for our performances uh, since 1987, since it opened. 
We have around 180 to 200 students, ranging from the age of three and a half through adults, who all look forward to this, their performances every year, and the center has provided this wonderful place for us to do that. Uh, over the years, the Center for the Arts has not changed their attitude toward the Crested Butte School of Dance in helping us to serve the children in this community in the way that we want to. Uh, the prices have stayed the same, the attitude here is how can we help always, and um, it's been always updated with lights and, and help with the stage and whatever we needed, it has been provided. So we're very, very thankful to the Center for the Arts for what it has given to us and to the children of this community and enabled me to uh, provide this wonderful service for the kids and adults and people who love to dance. The Piper Gallery was named after Paul Piper, who was one of the founders of the Center for the Arts and had a great passion and commitment to us. The Piper Gallery is, is a is a wonderful resource for our local artists. It's a self-service gallery and um, an artist can utilize it for $50 and they come in and they can set up their show, have a reception and um, hopefully showcase their artwork in, in a setting where the community can come and just at any time and see. The Center for the Arts, in order to be successful and meet our mission, really needs to grow, and that's why we're planning an expansion for 2016. The needs of our community are great, and we have lots of families and lots of children and lots of people that come into our community that want to participate in the arts, and at this point we've just simply outgrown our facility. So we're really excited about all the planning efforts that we are doing um, towards having an expanded Center for the Arts. Over 30% of the Center's budget is raised through donations. These are donations from individuals, from our major donors, and from business owners in our community. And what I have discovered in the last three years since I've been here at the center is that the support of our community is critical to our success. I have people on a regular basis coming up to me at our performances or if I'm just walking down the street saying, how can I support the center? And truly without the support of all of you, we could not do what we do at the center on a regular basis. So I thank you for your support. I thank you for coming to our performances. And please know that when you give a donation to the center, that it is moving us in the direction of providing more performances to our community for the next 25 years.